Hello, my favorite people. How are you all doing today? So let's chat. Let's chat about basically this video is about don'ts. What does skin tone shouldn't do to prevent uh, their skin from getting post inflammatory hyperpigmentation? If this is your first time coming across my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chiku Kelly. I'm a certified esthetician. As you can see, this channel is about skincare. We talk about skincare a lot. Everything we chat about in this channel is skincare. Okay, how to take care of your skin. Okay, I do a lot of product reviews, skincare product reviews. I do DIY as well once in a while and I talk about teaching you how to achieve glowing skin so if you like what you're watching hit the subscribe button okay and subscribe and also the notification bell hit it so that you keep you up to date i want to upload new videos so let's chat let's talk that. let's talk about the don'ts of you know what you shouldn't do if you have if your skin of color that skin tone what you shouldn't do in order to avoid your skin from getting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation we all know that when it comes to dark skin basically skin of color we are talking about the you know african americans the africans the asians some in the middle east you know it's general the skin tone that basically produces a lot of melanin in the high percentage okay now it's a very beautiful skin tone yeah that skin tone is a very beautiful skin tone um there's this saying that's uh, you know that blacks don't crack but yeah i think <laughs> it's just a saying to make us feel better because blacks do crack if you don't look after your skin yeah especially some of the things i'm going to mention in this video will actually make your skin crack yeah, that's some of the mistakes that most dark skin tone they do when it comes to skincare that actually causes them to have more problems on their skin. Okay, so the first one is uh, what you should not do to your skin if you have dark skin tone, if you're skin of color, what you shouldn't do to your skin. And the first one is the use of um hydroquinine to treat your dark spots basically when it comes to dark spots with a dark dark spot or blackheads is very common on skin of color and the reason is because you know we get a lot of um a melanin and that's what dark spots is usually formed when you have pimple or acne once the acne is gone and then the, there's a lot of melanin produced let me use like a simple term that everybody will understand okay so there's a lot of build up of melanin on melanin on that particular area that you have the acne because you know our skin produces a lot of melanin melanin is what gives you your skin color okay so because of that and if you don't treat the acne very well and use the right skincare products most times when the acne goes or when the pimple goes you end up having loads or loads of dark spots but the mistake that most people do is they use hydroquinine to treat it it's a no no do not treat your dark spots with hydroquinine the reason is because basically those dark spots are called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation 
because when you have acne your acne gets inflamed and from the inflammation you know dark spot is formed okay and treating it with hydroquinine is a no-no um the reason is because when you use hydroquinine the wrong way and most people make this mistake of using hydroquinine the wrong way actually because there is a lot of over-the-counter hydroquinine you don't get prescription for it and you just use it anyhow you like without any um, professional advice and what do you end up with you end up with more hyperpigmentation than you originally has and hydroquinine also can result to uh, severe hyperpigmentation called ochronosis okay now can you treat your dark spots yes what ingredients and what skincare product do you think you need for treating your dark spots for skin of color so we talk about the likes of koji acid a lot of people tell me sometimes when i mention about kojic acid they'll be like oh i don't think kojic acid treats dark spots it actually does treat dark spots okay uh, so when you're looking for skincare products you look for skincare product with these uh, ingredients like alpha albertine niacinamide is very good in treating dark spots okay because it kind of targets the pigment and it kind of makes it lighter and it stops the new ones from forming as well okay so koji acid is good niacinamide is good you can get it through serum you can get it through moisturizer okay uh afabatin is the same thing you can get it through serum or you can get it through moisturizer licorice licorice extract is really really good it kind of helps to lighten because you want to lighten the dark spot so you look for there is a lot of skincare products out there that you can use that has all these ingredients or you can buy them um, separately to treat hyperpigmentation because these days you get a lot of them the ordinary has a good brand polar's choice has a good brand um Inkylis has a good brand you can buy they just out there but make sure you buy the good ones okay so don't be treating your dark spots with hydroquinone stay away from hydroquinone hydroquinone is not the best for skin of color okay the second thing that you shouldn't do for if you have that skin tone is using a very high percentage of chemical peel chemical peel i'm not against it i've never actually had it before you know the ones you go and get from a professional i'm always scared of it and the reason is because uh our skin our skin is just not the best when it comes to chemical peel except you go to like a really really good dermatologist or an institution that studied about our skin because it's not every dermatologist out there it's not every esthetician out there that knows how to treat that skin tone now most of them don't so you need to be careful and if you're going to have a chemical peel make sure you you get the ones that are like you start with a light percentage don't go very high because when you go very high it can cause you burn it can damage your skin tissue and then you end up with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation now the third thing that that skin tone shouldn't do to their skin is don't use any astringent like a toner that has alcohol in it or fragrance okay done because you see there's a lot of mistake oily skin do because our skin our that skin tone usually sometimes produces a lot of oil yeah we are prone to that but you shouldn't be going around using toners with alcohol or cleansers with so much alcohol and fragrance thinking when you, you you know you want to get rid of the oil on your skin that's actually bad because when you're trying to get rid of the oil on your skin you may end up your skin may end up producing 
more oil by reacting to that because you're stripping your skin of the oils like the natural oils that your skin is producing and at, at the end your skin then will react by producing more oil and what happens then you end up with breakouts after breakouts is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so try and avoid any products with fragrance or any estrogens or toners with alcohol is definitely definitely not good for our skin okay now last but not the least this is the best one okay this is like a do what you should be doing okay try and be using oil based cleansers remember i talk about oil cleansing oils cleansing oils are very good and i have a favorite one which is the the inky laced oatmeal cleansing balm the picture is here it's absolutely fantastic for our skin tone yeah because our skin tone because it produces a lot of oil especially if you're somebody that wears a lot of makeup you need that cleanser even cerave has a good one as well so you need to be using oil based cleansers even if your skin is oily it doesn't matter because it will help to clean out any a lot of dirt on your skin or a lot of um, impurities and oils if your skin is producing too much oil it will actually help to more like cap it down you know bring it down a lot and you end up with glowing skin it's just simple simple things um especially these three things usually usually end up causing you breakout causing positive inflammatory hyperpigmentations and these are the things that you can use to avoid it because hyper post inflammatory hyperpigmentation takes months to treat it doesn't just happen overnight the treatment it takes months and taking months actually depends on the consistency and the products that you're using and sometimes it may take years but the severe ones like the ochronis is once you get it that's it it doesn't it, treating that will, you know is in god's hands <laughs> it's in god's hands okay now I hope this video is helpful helpful for those of you that want to know what is it that you you know is a no no to your skin if you have skin of color if you want me to do any other topic send me a message like you've been doing on instagram and, and facebook keep it up send me a message and i will definitely look into it and try my best okay thank you so much my favorite people and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye